Welcome to part two. I forgot to mention on the last video about the purchase. Um, we purchased at the right price. The previous owner had some reasons for selling, which we didn't know at the time, um, but it's the right time when we had the money ready. But anyway, let's move on with the construction. So now we've got this leaking roof, and the roof that's currently on the building is too short. So what we did was build up the back wall of the building, create a new gutter that went across that was supported by the new wall, and added new drainage and realigned the roof so it actually all functioned properly. Since we had to realign the roof, realign the gutter, and basically rebuild the back wall, um, while we were doing this we also planned all the other work that needed doing on the back of the building this included going up onto the roof checking the actual physical roof itself for any leaks repainting and sealing all the roof and also rendering the back of the building so it's all nice and tidy and looking more of a professional building than a derelict shed the next thing was the battle of the termites. Um, termites are notoriously a pain and in the Philippines I've seen people where they pulled the books out the bookshelf to find that there's nothing left of the books and the termites have eaten through the back of the bookshelf as well. Me, I'm more inclined to just say, okay, termites you win, let me just get rid of the wood uh, long term it's easier although we do treat some of the timber around that we do like to keep uh, but in this case if it, as you see with the doors the doors have been eaten alive and also the timber frame for the the upper floor was extremely badly damaged with termite abuse although it was functional and would last uh, personally I thought if I'm going to do it, I'm do it right, do it once. And as such, we decided to get rid of all of the timber in the building. Now, my bright idea related to the actual flooring for the um, first floor was basically, we'll do that later. Um, the reason being, we didn't need the first floor for the first year. And... I didn't see it as a priority so we concentrated on patching up the units um, we call them door one two and three on the ground floor the first thing was removing the doors removing the wooden frames that had been eaten to death and replacing them with solid steel frames and we actually repaired the doors um, which we then spray painted, tidied up, and they actually look like they're brand spanking new even to this day because they've been maintained properly, um, or should I say, we maintained them properly. Get ready for part three of building a call center in the Philippines.